Hello everyone, welcome back again to Plax's uh, 3D Shallow Foundation course from Theory to Practice. In this uh, lesson, we are going to model uh, combined footing by volume element using Plax's uh, 3D. If you remember in the previous example in lesson 19, we did uh, the we did uh, we did the modeling of uh, combined footing using using plate element. Uh, so we will uh, open we will open the Plaxus file from uh, lesson 19, and we will uh, repeat uh, the similar. Uh, a tutorial by doing the by modeling the combined footing using a volume element okay I'm opening the plexus from lesson 19 and I will save this project under a different name so we will save it in plexus 3d shallow foundation course I will copy this name paste in here save <coughs> okay so right now we save it uh, lesson 19 under this name modeling combined footing by volume element so all the properties of the foundation and the soil geometry and uh, properties of the soil will become uh, similar to the previous example except that we will uh, change uh, the foundation from plate to full volume element so by doing this we click on structure uh, I click on the foundation and right click uh, so from plate I will click on delete so right now this is just a surface you can see like that in initial phase the foundation and column neck should be deactivated and the soil geometry and soil material should be activated in the foundation we have the excavation and we construct the foundation that's why the combined footing and the column neck should be activated in the loading uh, phase the loads also have to be activated and we, and we save the model again and we can uh, start the calculation So okay as uh, we see the calculation is finished we save uh, the plexus model and we can see the results now we click on view calculation results As you can see in here the maximum settlement is 0 0.036 uh, meters which is about uh, 30 centimeter this is a deformed shape of the foundation and soil and uh, as we said this is not a true scale so we can use maybe 10 As we can see, this is a deformed shape of the foundation, and we can uh, investigate the total displacement. As we can see, the displacement in the wider side of the foundation is uh, more because the load on the column is uh, 
higher than the load of the column in the other side we can also take a section like this so as we can see this is a total uh, displacement or settlement uh, contours and we can see it as a vector displacement or like an isobars also we can see the incremental strain So this was for uh, this example about how can we uh, model a full volume uh, full volume element combined footing in plexus 3D. I hope it was beneficial and uh, see you in the next lesson.